All right, guys, I'm back. And um, I'm just showing you right now, this car is self-driving. Like, it's amazing right now. My hands are over here on the left. I'm holding the phone with my right. Um, it's driving by itself, okay? And that's because I have a comma too. I'm gonna put my hands on the steering wheel because I just wanna make sure it doesn't float over to the left with all these oncoming cars. Um, my Comma 2's kind of malfunctioned, guys. It's uh, It's got the black screen of death right there, so the LCD's not working. Um, it was just on a little bit ago, and it was working, but it's not right now, so that's just kind of unusual. This is the second time it's happened to me. Um, what I do is I have to reset it, and I'm not gonna do that right now while I'm driving. I'm just gonna let it let it stay dark, and as long as it's self-driving, I'm okay with it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, the reason why I got this vehicle is it's a Honda Ridgeline 2023 Black Edition. It's got all the luxury amenities, um, the heated seats right here. I'm gonna turn that off because it's getting too hot. It's got the heated steering wheels, which honestly, I love the heated steering wheel. Um, and the versatility of a truck. It's all wheel drive. So that's the other reason why I got it. It, it drives like a nice SUV. Uh, cruising on the highway, which is what I do. I, I, I cruise a lot of the highway driving and that's why I got the self-driving um, hardware and this type of vehicle that's compatible with it. Uh, prior to that, it was on my 2017 Prius Prime and uh, the Prius Prime was a good vehicle too, to have it self-driving. Like it was a 2017, so you know, um, not too many self-driving cars in 2017 other than the Tesla. So that's why I got that and then I, got the Honda and then I transferred the comma uh, unit to the Honda didn't have to upload any software or anything it was a plug-and-play the only thing that I had to buy was the adapter um, that goes on that goes into the electronical components up up top there um, but uh, yeah this vehicle's doing good I you know I mean it's uh it's got about 6,200 miles on it um, around 6,200 miles and pretty much I put it self-driving uh, as soon as I bought it um, it's uh, doing a great job by itself especially in the back roads like this it's just following this semi truck and uh, can't complain you know but just wanted to give you guys a demonstration here comes a good size curve I'm gonna see how well it takes this curve and if I have to use my hands or not I'm gonna keep my hands over here which I, I don't think it's gonna need need to um, but again um, I'm just gonna show you guys here here's the curve here to the left it's taken the curve quite well no problems and it's gonna keep going to the left and it does all the braking and the going on its own um, it follows this vehicle at a set pace I can't change the distance pace on this Honda. I was able to do it on the Prius, so that was interesting. So that's that was something that was a little bit different. Um, but honestly, the self-driving thing is so helpful because I drive a lot, and it helps with driver fatigue. Um, <clears throat> it helps with many things, you know, to be honest. You don't have to stop as much to rest. You can just keep going on to your next destination. Um, for me, I drive oh, uh, roughly 225 miles uh, for a one-way trip, and I do that twice a week. So I put on, I'd say, plus you know, other driving, um, <clears throat> I probably put on about 40,000 miles a year, and that's, uh, that's quite a bit. So uh, my 2017 Prius Prime that I had has 180, over 185,000 miles for 2017 um, and that was uh, even before I drove a lot so um, <clears throat> yeah we'll see how long I can keep this Honda lasting and driving uh, the lane lines over here on the left it stays really centered there's the left side okay it's, it's still self-driving now the comma unit over there is all blocked out I wish it would work but it's not working um, you can kind of see the red infrared so that's actually looking at my eyes still so on the right over there you're gonna see where it's kind of centered and how well centered it is and then 
again back to the left show the center lines where is it at it stays pretty darn centered in the middle of the road so that's one thing i do like about this comma is that it stays really centered so anyways give it a thumbs up i uh, hope this helps and be safe out there don't don't um don't think that these types of technologies uh, are perfect and they're here to help us and we need to understand that there are many limitations to this so I'm gonna slow it's gonna slow down here um, following this truck it's still turning on its own um, without assistance and uh, I love it I like it you know if you're going too fast you can't take high-speed corners you know going at about 50 55 pretty reasonable <clears throat> um, yeah so Give it a thumbs up, guys. Over and out.